everyone, we are back with another Divi tutorial here at Divi Life. My name is Tim Streifler, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a slide-in promo bar for your Divi website. So a little bit of background story. Elegant Themes recently launched a little over a month ago the groundbreaking Divi 3.0 with the all-new Visual Builder. And so when they launched it, they created this gorgeous slide-in promo bar. I'm going to refresh the page here. They created this promo bar to draw attention to the new Divi 3.0 with a button link that links to the announcement blog post. And after they created this and had this on their site, I saw a lot of people in the Divi Facebook groups that were asking questions about how to create something like this in Divi. And so after seeing that question come up a few times, I decided that I would create a tutorial. So I'm going to give you the code. I've done all the hard work for you. I've tweaked it, made it uh, for Divi specifically. So you'll notice on Elegant Themes, it's not fixed because uh, they don't have a fixed header. Also, the Elegant Themes website isn't responsive. So the promo bar also is not responsive. So I've uh, taken all the benefits of the Elegant Themes promo bar, uh, but added in um, the benefits of, of that typically come on a Divi site, which is responsive and, and having a fixed header. So um, that's what we're gonna be creating today. It has the same slide in effect as you see here, the same button hover effects. So I'm gonna show you an example. This is the promo bar created with the, the same code that you're gonna get in this tutorial. Uh, and this is it functioning on a Divi website here. So you can see it's fixed as I scroll. Uh, I'm showing you this on my, my child theme, Royal Commerce. And you can see it stays fixed to the top of the screen with the header. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page so you can see it do the slide in effect and uh, have that there. So um, it works the same as the elegant themes when you close it it goes away. Now watch, if I refresh the page, it doesn't come back. So what it's doing is it's putting a cookie in the browser that's not gonna let it reappear for seven days. And so we have the same thing for the version that you're gonna get in this tutorial as well. When you close it, it does not come back. You can see there. So uh, you're gonna get the benefit of the Elegant Themes promo bar, but in a way that's suitable for Divi with the fixed header and responsive and all that. So I'm gonna close this and open up a new one so you can see it come back here. So by the way, that's something I'd recommend when you're building this is uh, use an incognito window for testing it so that it won't put that cookie in your browser and you won't be able to see it again uh, during testing. So use an incognito browser in Chrome or Safari calls it private browsing. So that's what I would recommend. Um, so again, this is what we're gonna be creating this tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go back to the post here. So it's actually really easy because I've laid out the code here. Uh, this is the code that you're gonna need. Now, it's very messy and jumbled just because it's JavaScript with uh, HTML, CSS embedded. So there's a lot going on. Um, you can take this code and you can uh, find you know, the text that you need to edit uh, find the link that you need to uh, to change in order to um, link to the correct page of whatever you want to promote on your site. However, I've taken it one step further and I've actually created a generator that is going to let you just fill out the form, put in the colors you want, put in the, the text, put in the link, and then what it's going to do is it's going to spit out the code, send it to you via email, so you have that. You can add it on as many different sites as you want and uh, it does all the, the hard work for you. You don't have to spend time going through jumbled code like this and customizing it and manually doing all that. It's gonna do it for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you how uh, to use the generator and then after that, I'm gonna show you how to add it to your Divi website. Um, and so the steps are the same if you're customizing it yourself manually or using the generator, adding it to your website is gonna work the same way. Full disclaimer though, when using the generator, you will be subscribed to my email list. However, you can unsubscribe at any time. Uh, also, just a note, we have other tutorials planned and so I'd recommend you staying on the email list so you can be the first to know about those uh, tutorials and freebies and so forth. So let's go ahead and get started here. 
I have uh, some stuff pre-prepared over here my other screen so I'm just gonna copy and paste so this top section here promo text this is what you want the text to say so in this example create a gorgeous slide in promo bar like this and that's what I've added here uh, so there's placeholder text so if you don't do anything and you just click get the code then it's gonna just spit out the default for you uh, so the placeholder text is there to show you you know what it's looking for so for example um, with the colors it's showing you that you need to have that uh, number sign hashtag sign whatever you want to call it in front in order for it to work properly so that's just an example so you know what to add on on your end so I'm gonna keep the text the same for learn more the button text pretty self-explanatory that's the text that's gonna be in the button and then the button link I'm gonna add some slightly customized link here it's gonna link back to the blog post so if you're promoting a sale you're promoting a product launch this is the button that you want uh, your, your users or your clients users to go to when they are seeing your promo bar and they, they want to learn more they want to shop now whatever it is uh, so the promo background color that is the background color that you see here so I'm gonna go ahead and put in a different background color so let's do that and then the text color um, that's obviously the color of this text that you see here so I'm gonna leave it white which is the default so I'm not gonna to touch that uh, the button text color um, is the text that you see in in the button so in this one it's the same color as the background so I'm gonna do the same since I've changed my um, background color I'm gonna make the button text color the same as my background oops so I need to make sure I got that number sign there and then the button text hover color I'm gonna leave that the same so um, I'm gonna leave that at the default uh, which is white so for example and this one here it goes to that that hot pink color for the background of the button and then it goes to white the text goes to white so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that how it is for this example um, leave that white and then now the button background color so I'm gonna leave that the default which is white but I am going to change the hover color so let's go back here so button background hover color so just to be clear that's the color that you're seeing when the mouse hovers over the button as you can see I'm doing here in this example oops nope Siri I do not want to ask you a question <laughs> um, all right so that is all we're doing to customize so we've added the text we've added the uh, the button text the the link all the colors that we want now all we have to do is gonna add our name here I'm just going to add a Tim at DiviLife.com. And again, just to be clear, you will be subscribed to my email list. However, you can unsubscribe at any time. If you're already a subscriber, it's not going to subscribe you again. So you're not going to start getting my emails multiple times. Um, and you can use this generator as many times as you want. And it's not going to subscribe you every single time. So once you're subscribed, you're always subscribed. So it's not going to subscribe you duplicates. So I'm going to go ahead and click get the code. All right, so the generator has successfully created the customized Divi slide in promo bar. So now here's just the directions. It wants us to go to the email address that we provided to get the code. And then we're gonna follow the steps below and learn how to add the code to the site itself. So I'm gonna go over here to my inbox, refresh this. And here is what it looks like. So just some simple directions here of what to do, uh, but the, the um, thorough directions are gonna be in this video and in the blog post itself. So you need to copy everything that is below this line right here. So I know it looks kind of funny having a, oops, a open div and then a closed div, um, and it looks like that might be a mistake, but I uh, assure you that it's not. You need to copy everything, everything there is there for a purpose and it's crucial for the promo bar to function correctly. So there's a lot going on in here, a lot of JavaScript, CSS, 
HTML. So um, that's why having the generator is, is useful. You don't have to go through that and, and pick it apart. So I'm gonna go back over here. And so there's two steps to add this to the site. You have the option of adding it to just one page. So if you wanna promote you know, maybe a specific product or a set of products or whatever, you want it just on that one page, you can do that. Uh, just one blog post, you can do that. Um, if you wanna add it to all pages of the site, it's very easy to do that again. You don't have to do it manually by adding it to, to each page individually. Uh, thanks to Divi and the theme options with the integration settings, we can do that in one step. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you both first. Um, so let's go over to here. So this right here is my uh, tutorial demo site. So I'm gonna first show you how to add it to just one single page and then we're gonna show you how to add it to all the pages on the site. So to add it to one page, go to the pages section or this would work the same for posts or custom post types. Uh, you just need to be able to use the Divi Builder. So um, now I have a page already set up and called the Divi slide in promo bar. So I'm gonna open that up and this is just a, a simple page. Uh, now what you need to do is you need to add a code module to the, the Divi Builder here. Now it doesn't matter where you add the code module, you can ha have it be at the top, you can have it be at the bottom, it can be left column, right column, it doesn't matter because the CSS that's embedded in the code is automatically gonna place it at the top of the site, it's automatically gonna make it full width so you'll be good to go. So I'm just gonna add it here, find the code module there, copy and paste that, make sure there's nothing else in there, make sure everything is added in its entirety. I'm gonna click save, and then I'm gonna click update. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the demo. Now it looks a little funny while you're logged in, so actually I'm going to copy this link and go into my other browser here so I could see what it looks like not being logged in. So keep that in mind if you're looking at it while logged in, it's gonna look a little bit funny, but you can see here that when you're looking at it as a user would, it looks like this. So uh, very cool, the generator makes it super easy. We have the custom colors, we have the custom link. Um, so we are, are good to go. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to add it to every page on your website. So we've added it to just one page here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and hit update. It's not the end of the world if you leave it there and then decide to add it to all pages. It's not gonna add it twice or anything like that. Um, but it just, for my own sanity, I like to, to have things cleaned up. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Divi theme options. So uh, you may or may not know this, but Divi has um, some places built in to the theme options under the integration tab. So go ahead and click on integration. It has some places where you can drop code. So you could add uh, some code to the header section, to the body section, things like Google Analytics tracking code or Facebook pixel tracking code. Um, they tell you to put it in the head of your blog and you could open up the PHP file for your header.php and a child theme and, and do all that. Or you can just drop the code here and click save and you're done. So a uh, little side note there. So. Um, for this, we're gonna be pasting it in the body section. So just be sure you're pasting it in body, not in header. It will not work if you paste it into header. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click paste. Oops, I have the wrong thing copied. Come back over here. Paste it in the body section. Now you wanna make sure that body code is enabled. So it'll be lit up blue like it is here when it's enabled and then click save. Uh, all of these are enabled by default, but if you went in and you disabled these, then just make sure that you have it, the body section enabled before you hit save. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back over here. So you can see now it's not just on that one page, now it's on all of my demo pages. Little side note here, uh, I have additional tutorial demos on this site, you can see um, what they look like and then go to the corresponding blog post. But um, you can see that's how easy it is to add it to every page on your site. So you can use the generator that I have. 
in the blog post and then uh, go to your website, paste it into the Divi theme options and within under five minutes you could have a really cool sleek slide in promo bar that's added to every page on your site. So that is it, we are done. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to uh, submit a comment and I will be happy to answer that. Um, and again, yeah, thanks for checking out this tutorial.